Hello everyone, it's Ubonic Zombie. Welcome back to House of a Thousand Doors Family Secrets. So we just got into this mansion. We did a hidden object scene and now let's go exploring. Oh, hello. Good afternoon, Kate. I'm pleased to meet you. Mr. Gabriel told me you would be visiting. I don't know why he asked you to come here, but I'm sure he has his reasons. Therefore, the house will be at your disposal. You'll be able to move freely from room to room. At least I hope the house will allow you to do so. Now please excuse me, but I need to finish reading my book. That totally wasn't creepy. Um, <laughs> it was probably, um... <clears throat> the voice that did it or the facial animation but that was creepy okay so we are free to move around as please okay good to know huh they're just hands on the side uh, going to need a special key That girl phone is excellent condition. Could probably play a record. Okay. Spring is broken. Hmm. Scale to waste something. Oh. Ah, it's one of the beyond objects. Okay. Like I said, I probably won't be able to find all of the beyond objects in this game. We have a cup of coffee. And a newspaper. Mansion appears out of thin air. Badlow Island police officers on Saturday saw a mansion materialize at the foot of the Statue of Liberty. Dr. Kravitz, a professor of physiognomy and phrenology, confirmed the report. Although Dr. Kravitz is a scientist, he believes supernatural powers exist and claims to have recorded ghosts on his pocket video camera. Dr. Kravitz says the mansion probably appeared at a point of concentrated spatial energy. According to his theory, individuals who find these places can travel through space and time. They can even go to Mars and witness past lives. Hmm. Interesting. I don't see a date on here. Lots of places to look at. Missing a weight. Okay. Huh. Fireplace. Might be a secret compartment in the fireplace. You need to put out the flames. Okay. Use the coffee to do that? No. Okay. <laughs> I like the sound it makes when you uh, get rid of item. I won't. Okay, any other place to look at? Can we talk to... How rude! Does he really have to finish reading that novel right now? Well, you're kind of in his home. I'm not sure if it's his home. I am confused right now, but let's keep exploring. And we need a key for that. Okay, so we have a portrait, uh, a bone, a lighter, a book, and a cup of coffee. Okay. We need to find the gargoyle's other eye. Let's see. There's a spring right there. Okay, nothing to get that down. Let's go to this door. Oh! That door vanished into thin air, and it looks as though it was never there. What's going on? Supernatural paranormal things are what's going on. Pretty cool, actually. Oh. She said the same thing. Okay. Doors vanishing. But let's go up here. Ooh. The artwork in this game is great. Find a missing part. Doesn't seem like we have a part for that. I'm 
another portrait. Okay, that makes two. Pretty bird needs to lure it over here somehow. Oh, that bird! Not birds don't care for. Oh, but there's the wait for the clock. Find something to lure the bird. Okay, is there anything else in this scene? Okay, you need a heart for that. Okay, nothing in over there. No. Okay. Let's go back. We have a wait for that clock. Oh! According to this clock, it is 1010. Puzzle piece. Okay, we're done with the scene. I forgot in this game, even if you take everything out of the scene, it doesn't automatically close. Let's see. Hmm. Not sure where to go now. No, we don't have a special key. Let's look in our journal. Okay. Okay, so we got uh, new stuff in our journal. The house exists. The house materialized right in front of me, just like Granny said it would. Okay, we were already we already read this part, but here, next part. Saman. I just met Saman Lancaster. He didn't seem to enjoy speaking with me. He pretended to be busy reading a book, and it was my book, my only bestseller. I should wait for Mr. Gabriel. Perhaps he can explain what's going on. Okay. I'm gonna go back outside. Oh yeah, okay. Symbol the image. Go to two pieces to swap them. Okay. Get all the corners first. So it's a good thing that um, they get grayed out when they're in the right spot. Here we go! It's a gargoyle! Hmm. We have a gear. Looks like a letter. Ah! Dear Lancasters, I won't be able to visit the house anytime soon, but I am sending someone worthy in my stead. Her name is Kate Reed. She's beautiful, smart, and creative. She writes novels and ghosts and dragons. She writes novels about ghosts and dragons. Please don't tell her about me or the house. She'll learn everything in due time. Sincerely yours, Gabriel Jones. Okay. I saw some things floating in the... Yeah, a bunch of leaves floating. Do we write that in our journal? Nope. Okay. But we do have a gear. I think somewhere in here we needed a gear. Okay, we need a spring for that. And that spring is on the chandelier. Ah, oh, hidden object scene, but this needs a... Hmm. S looks like it's still missing some parts. Oh, no! Door's open! Okay. Uh, let's do the hidden object scene. Get that out of the way. Compass, co coin, comb, treble clef, egg, scissors, puzzle piece, and a foot. Okay. Here's a puzzle piece. 
Uh, okay. So, um, the objects that we need to find appear as we find more. Because so, I thought this thing was a red herring that we opened this up, but nope. So there we go. More stuff is appearing as we find them. Travel clef. Travel clef and umbrella. There's the umbrella. Uh, there's a travel clef. There it is. A little trophy. Okay. We have a coin. Oh, still need a heart-shaped thing for that. And let's go in this room. Oh. Oh. What is in there? Hi. My name is Sammy. Sammy Lancaster. I like him to invent things. Uncle Gabriel says I can bring inanimate objects to life. I believe him. All of this noise is distracting me from my work. This, this wardrobe is always shaking and grinding. And sometimes I hear train whistles or screams. My musical land is somewhere around here. Perhaps its melody would help me to concentrate. Okay, it's kind of creepy that your um, Amor shakes. We have a butterfly net. Sammy looks more tired than scared. Is he used to hearing ghosts make noise? I need to find his musical lamp. Okay, the boy. I believe the boy is the son of the man I met in the living room. Strange noises coming from his wardrobe are scaring him. They're scaring me too. What's hidden behind that door? A ghost? Evil spirits? A railway station? Anything is possible. For now I need to find the boy's musical lamp. Okay. What's up here? A rocket. It says firecracker, but that's totally a rocket. House of a Thousand Doors. Another legend about spirits brings us to the House of a Thousand Doors. No one knows when the ghostly dwelling first appeared, but experts in spiritism believe it's existed for ages. The house serves as a crossing point between two worlds. It exists outside of time and space, and it's made up of many rooms. People have spouted the house in the Eternal City, the mysterious country of Shu Kua, and the capital of Hyperborea. The scientific community has documentation that suggests the house is real. What's more, scholarly men and women have written about the house, but no one has entered it and then returned to the physical world, so there's no concrete proof of its existence. Okay. Is there more to this? No. Okay. We wrote about that as well. House of a Thousand Doors. Even now, I think this is a dream. How could any of this be true? How could a house with countless rooms exist? And how could it serve as a crossing point between worlds? I need to ask Mr. Gabriel about these things. Okay. So, I don't know if we... Yeah, we have a map and we can see where we are. And yeah, there is plenty more to this. Oh, cool. Okay, there's plenty more to this game, but... Thankfully, they have... Um, here locations available actions i love games that show you those things because it's easy to get lost in hidden object games that have a lot of locations okay and you just hear that distant screaming in the back of ambient noise okay. oh Pressing all these things. Does that do anything? More. I don't know if this is doing anything or not. Probably something for later. Ah! Maybe that's just random things I can mess with. Maybe it doesn't do anything. Train engine. Let's see. Hey, kiddo! 
Congratulations on your Angel Day! As part of the celebration, I want to give you this model railroad. It contains a secret only a mechanical genius will be able to figure out. That would be you, dear Sammy. If you have trouble, one of the guests of the house can help you. Get to work, because lives are depending on this toy. Love, Uncle Gabriel. Totally no pressure. Okay. So we read that. It's by the window. Telescope on the tripod. Okay, so I don't notice anything else. Okay. Oh, here we go. But it said we can do something in the main hall. Okay, not that, because we need a hexagonal piece. Oh! There we go! Swoosh! Okay, so we have the spring. Okay. Here we go! like a portrait wall. If I know that if I throw that great Dane a bone, he might let me buy. Here's a bone. There we go. Musical lamp. Those must be Sammy's toys, and that must be his musical lamp. Okay. Here's another book. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Bloody Mary. Did you guys ever play that Bloody Mary thing when you were when you were young with the mirrors? I mean, my classmates always did that. Um, because there was like in our gymnasium, like the bathrooms weren't um they weren't bad. It's just that our gymnasium also housed like all of our sports teams so um, the bathrooms were more like locker rooms and so they were very large so whenever we were there in our PE class uh, and you turn off the lights it was really scary in there and they had these huge uh, mirrors and we would do the Bloody Mary Bloody Mary chants because there was an actual rumor around our school that someone died in the bathrooms but um let's see bloody mary many years ago many years ago in the village of hampshire several young girls disappeared one by one people accused the eccentric recluse mary marsh of the abductions they said mary had kidnapped their kids so she could drink their blood and become young again without hesitating an angry mob captured the witch and threw her onto a, into a bonfire Curse all of you, she shouted before the flames touched her lips. For the price of a few lives, I could have saved thousands. I could have cured every disease. Fools! From the moment after I draw my last breath, I will be living in, on the other side of your mirrors, and I will be watching you. Since that night, people believe one can summon Mary by saying her name three times. But who would be brave or foolish enough to do it? That man would be cursed, and his soul would be eternally trapped in the mirror world with Mary. Well, looks like my soul is trapped, and along with the other the other people I said Bloody Mary in the mirrors with. Okay. Okay. You gonna write about that? Nope. Okay. 
a feeling we might meet Bloody Mary in this game. It would definitely wouldn't surprise me. Also, you guys remember that episode of Supernatural that dealt with Bloody Mary? That was a good episode. I haven't watched that much of Supernatural. I got like maybe 11 episodes in into the first season and then I got distracted by something else. I know they're long past that. Okay, so we have something in our journal, but... Ah, need to place someone's portrait here. Okay, so we're building the family tree. Okay, that's really cool how the branches grow off. It looks like two separate sides of the family. Okay. The family tree. I found the Lancaster family tree. Judging by the number of portraits, the family has lived here for more than 300 years. Who were they? Master criminals? Treasure hunters? I say Lancasters, and I know that's a family name in Game of Thrones, but guess what? I have never seen Game of Thrones. True story. I know a lot of people die. Like, literally everyone dies, but I've never seen it. And there are dragons. Let's see. Only firecracker. Musical lamp. Lighter. Okay. What does our map say? Where should we go next? Uh, something in the boys' room. Ah, oh, yeah, because we have this lamp. There you go. Thank you, Kate. This lamp's melody will drown out the noise and allow me to concentrate on my work. I'm trying to solve a mystery. I think this train and the sounds coming from the wardrobe are connected. They both appeared in my room at close to the same time. Okay. Oh, that's really neat. I never had one of those. Apparently, everybody else but me had those as a little kid. Let's see. A toy or something else? Sam believes his model railway is connected to a ghost, as the wardrobe in his room started shaking when his Uncle Gabriel gave him the railway. Why did Mr. Gabriel give him that? Special key. Love how the kid is just so calm while this is shaking. Yeah. Okay, where to next? Uh, so, back to the library. It's up here. No, it's not up there. Oh. Ah! Oh, there's another portrait! Book belongs here. Looks like it's missing one of them. Oh, we have a key. That's a cool looking key. Train shaped key. That looks like something that could be like in Kingdom Hearts or something. Oh, I wish it fl flipped back around. Okay, so we have the train-shaped key. Okay, so... Oh, it's a hidden object scene. Let's do that first before we go back to the kids' room. Let's see... You see all the flies? Don't know where they're coming from. N no sucker! Oh, they mean that, um, little thing you would use, like, in babies' noses whenever they have, like, sinus problems? 
Okay, we have a light bulb. Now we can go to the kids' room. Okay, what is in here? It's a cool looking key. Oh. Whoa. You're okay with this kid? You're not freaking out about that? Okay, we will check that out in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!